Can we have past that? Uh, I cut a little bit, uh, but the humidity was catching up to us a little bit today, so I wanted to cut it, and uh, they did a good job. They responded, and I uh, thought they pushed through it, so we're going to get them a big break here and get them off their feet. What well, would you see from Jake today? Well, I thought Jake was sharp today. I really do. I mean, Jake was sharp. Uh, I thought he ran it really well. Um, we threw, you know, some more deep balls, perhaps, than we have. Uh, and when he didn't have those, he came down. Or just progression, so I thought he did a good job and uh, threw the ball well. Is he back to running with the ones trading off? With, with, with yeah, he's always been, though, uh, Matt, to be honest with you. So, again, I know... Just thinking about the scrimmage. You know, yeah. Again, it was just, uh, you know, we, we had to hold him out. But, uh, we, we, you know, once we started yesterday, we, we uh, resumed the uh, rotation. Um, Al, uh, Mark D'Onofrio was saying that perhaps the tightest group, the strongest group, and the hardest to figure out who to start among would be sort of the corner box. Yeah. He said Artie, Corn, Tracy Howard, Ladarius, Antonio. Yeah, well, Talk you know, about well I mean, just like today, like, uh, yeah. if, we, if, if we start yesterday, Susan, uh, I thought uh, Ladarius, I think he's really improving. Uh, I think uh, Cole, uh, excuse me, Corn probably had his best day yesterday. Artie did really well. And you come back this morning, and uh, Antonio gets two interceptions, and and, uh, and he looks better. So it's definitely a group that's uh, competing. I think they all understand that, um, but it's a good it's a good situation. They're competing for both corner spots and then uh, the, the starter on the nickel. Um, and we have a long way to go in terms of that. So we'll see how that uh, how that plays out. But you know we feel much better about our, our depth and competition. Corn, how fast he's come back. He's doing great. Talk about that yeah, I mean I, all those guys, right? We you know Ladarius Corn. Um, all of those guys have uh, have made a good comeback for us, so I'm uh, happy about it. And they get rotated in a lot, right? Yeah, all of, all of yeah. them. Yeah. Yep. So. Again, it's a demanding position, so uh, we play a lot. They're fighting for the starting job, but all of those guys are going to play a lot, no question. Okay. Dion and uh, Yellow today, anything with him? No, we're just protecting uh, a, a little hamstring. I, I imagine he would be out of it by tomorrow. If we were practicing this afternoon, he'd probably be ready to go. So. Um, he did, you know, significant amount of individual stuff and everything, but he'll be fine. And, and Philip, uh, just is, is that really doing injury? Just give no, him the day out. No, just he's, uh, you know, I thought he had a great day yesterday, and um, again, uh, we've rested a lot of the wider series. We thought it was turn, turn to uh, rest Philip. Do you know Matt Goodison's progress? How he's looking? Yeah, getting stronger. I think the biggest thing right now is, is there's nothing, uh, there's no, there's nothing ailing him in terms of pain, uh, and there's no really medical condition right now. It's just strength and. Uh, you know, you, the, way you, the way you build that back up is obviously you kick, you know, you lift, you do whatever you got to do, then you, then you rest and, and let it heal and then come back the next day. So he's making uh, a lot of progress right now and he's just got to keep uh, doing that. They have no setback, so he's doing well. Was anybody... the linebackers, you guys have had to get creative with some of the yeah. moves there. How do you feel about that group right now? How it stands? Well, I feel better uh, because Thurston is playing really well. Thurston's playing good football and, and uh, of course, Darian Owens has been really consistent. Uh, you know, Grace is active, which is nice. Kirby's back now. Uh, and then Juwan Young and and, uh, uh, and Tuck, you know, should be able to help us. So, uh, you know, it's a, it will be a good group. Uh, you know, Tuck and Juwan and Grace got to keep, you know, hammering their alignments and their techniques and all the little things. But uh, clearly having Denzel and Thurston and Kirby, veterans there, you know, should should help settle it down. And how about Fentress? He's doing both for us. You know, uh, we wor worked him at... Uh, safety uh, yesterday and today, and, and he's worked at linebacker before that. So, time to do that is now, not not on game week if we get somebody hurt. Uh, with with Armbruster, uh, Mark Mercedes, you know, probably our most versatile player. Yeah. Um, on the defense. Is that is that just trying to see, you know, he could play well in case of an injury, or is right. you think you might play him? No, you have to do that now. Uh, you have to do that now because you don't want to do it in the in the season when it happens. So uh, we know he can play Will. We know he can play uh, Mike, and, and he certainly has played Sam. I think the thing that's interesting about him is, you know, he's in the 40s now, 242, 243, and, and uh, he's actually helping us in the, in the nickel rush. So he's become very versatile. He's very very smart and uh, real proud of Thurston uh, and, and what he's done over the last 12 weeks. Kind of along those lines with Njoku, uh, you know, back to receiver yeah. now. What do you see as a linebacker and, and kind of where's well, he at with the receiver? Well, gifted. Uh, we think he's more inclined to be an offensive player. And... Uh, you know, just where he is right now in terms of his body and his makeup, I told him he'd have to be on slim fast for four years to stay at 230. So I think he's going to develop into an H. I think, you know, when we're talking on March 1st, 
I think he'll be 250 pounds. So I think he's going to go go the route uh, of being an H. Um, you know, if he helps us at all this year, it will be as a as a X receiver, low red zone, things of that nature. But uh, probably more likely, just uh, from what we saw yesterday, uh, that he that he's going to end up growing into an H. Is Muhammad right now mostly running with the ones at rush linebacker or rush end or whatever you call it? Yeah, uh, Quan, uh, Tyreek, Trent. They, they're all they all been taking it, so it's good. We developed uh, depth there, and Quan is. Uh, one was one coming out of the scrimmage, Tyree two and Trent three, or, or Trent two and Tyree three, I can't remember, but all three of them were getting more. You mentioned guys switching positions, that's happened in the program, what do you, how do those conversations usually go, yeah. what's your approach when you do talk to Well, them? like in David's case, we said, you know, David, we could always go, you could always go back, but, we, you know, we don't want to do this during the season, we want to take a look at you during the season, so we looked at him for two days, and, you know, we, we he agreed, he, he, you know, felt and we felt like it was best for him to go back to offense. So, um, in terms of Fentress, he's just that kind of kid. He'll do whatever you ask him to do. Obviously, Dallas has made our team better. And uh, uh, is there any other ones I'm missing? Yeah. No, I mean, you just like, uh, just I'll just tell you, I went down with David. You know, he said, David, we'd, we'd like to take a look at, you at, at linebacker. Would you want to do that? And he said, sure, I'll do anything, you know, for the team. So, put him over there. We'll give him a good look and be honest with him. He's honest with himself, and, and uh, we thought he'd be better in the long term being an H. And I think we're right there. I think uh, I think he's going to end up being a really big, big kid. Anything uh, else? Uh, Alec, kid like Ventress, uh, I know he was a walk on originally when he first got here. I think you guys gave him a scholarship did, last yep. year. How do you guys sort of make that decision now? Again, I guess it's one year renewal. Yeah, he's, he's been renewed. He's uh, been renewed. Uh, yeah, I mean he's a he's a he's basically a starter. Um, the only reason he doesn't start on every special team is because we, we save him for all the other things that he does. So he just, you know, like I said, the same thing about Dallas guys. You know, like you see, like Brax is the same way. Like sometimes guys just figure it out. And uh, and Matambu is one of those guys. He's he's smart and uh, he's playing two positions. Plus he's a he's a tremendous leader for us. And he's doing a, a, a great job of being unselfish on special teams. The last one I have for you, yep. just in the front here. Has anybody really won the job yet, or is it kind of? No, they're going back and forth. And uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna have a special teams scrimmage tomorrow. That will determine a lot. Will it, will it be the final? No, because we have more practices than a normal game week. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of having uh, three or four, you have six. So you know it's gonna be like two rounds of three. So uh, you know we might not even determine who the starters until next week, man. With that, okay. Thank you.